to make a charcuterie board. We got some Aldi. They had these on sale for seven dollars. Different. They had a maple leaf, this one, and a round one. So I got that one. But this came from the Target Dollar Spot for three dollars. It's a kids charcuterie set. So Ray's gonna make her own charcuterie. Let me get from over here. Right. You're not in the picture. I ain't got no broom. You're not in the picture. Now you just told him. <laughs> you wasn't in it. So we're gonna make a charcuterie uh, board, okay? All right. And then I have some fruit to add to it. So Ray just finished her charcuterie board. Wow. It's so cute. Why is she getting out Put it on here. Put it on here. Here. Put it on here. All right. Now snack on that, okay? It also came with this wood cutter, but we don't really need this right now. Because all her cheese and stuff is already cut. They're really cute. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can cut my mind. Okay guys, so I just got the green beans on for the shower. I wanted to show you that Aldi also had these animal um, basket. This is a llama. I've been calling it a giraffe. And this is an elephant. I did not know that. I thought it was an aardvark. But anyway, these were $25 about a month ago from Aldi. And I almost pulled the trigger and bought them because I wanted to put them on baby boy's dresser and like put some baby essentials in them. But um, I'm glad I didn't because I went back today and they only had like two or three left but they were marked down to six dollars and some change you guys so i thought that was a really good deal um so i'm gonna put those in baby boy's room uh, also if you guys have a giant near you they have the winter punch and then they have cranberry orange both of them are good but i love the winter punch better so i refilled on those and then this is for thanksgiving what you have baby money who gave you money you found I, I, it? I believe, yeah, I believe, I believe it was changed. Oh, huh? Yeah. Okay, we'll put it in your piggy bank upstairs. You put it in your piggy bank. So I have the meat going for the green beans. And then I wanted to show you guys the stuff I got from Aldi for the charcuterie yeah, board yeah, for the shower. Um, I got a grapefruit uh -huh. because the grazing company that I hired for my shower, yeah. they cut a grapefruit in half just for like a garnish. So I got oh, that. Yeah. I thought these were dried cranberries but they're actually mixed berries so that's fine i got some apricots because they put those on my board some pistachios i got some milk chocolate um <clears throat> some crackers and some peter crackers as well i got green and red grapes some mini cucumbers that i'm going to slice some strawberries and then i got some of these dips i got like an orange marmalade i got some olives with pimento um in them i got some sweet pickles i got this raspberry preserves honey um and then in the refrigerator let me show you guys y'all see my baby's artwork which is maybe picasso oh i said picasso picasso i got some brie um i got these individual chicken salads i love them but i may put a couple on the board as well and then i got some blue cheese as well um I got, let's see, blackberries. I already showed you strawberries. Blueberries. And then I got some of these cheddar cubes to put on the board. And then as far as the meat, um, I got some prosciutto. I'm going to try to make some roses as well. I got this deli selection. It has pepper salami, um, copa, capicolo, and then calabrese. And then I got this cheese as well. And then I got these. And lastly, I got this tray as well. So this should be more than enough. It's going to be about 60 to 75 people at the shower. But again, this is going on the appetizer um, table. So it's only going to be one long charcuterie board. So if you're in the market to make a charcuterie board, go ahead and go to Aldi because honestly you can make one I probably this is enough stuff to make a huge grazing table honestly but I wanted to have extra stuff left over because um you know I make charcuterie at home as well also Amazon had a deal on Dove deodorant so I bought those I think it was like ten dollars for four and then I also placed an Amazon order I got baby boy's letter board um, so we can take pictures of him in the at the hospital I just went with a natural wood in the gray and then these are the letters to go in it so I'll be putting that in his hospital bag and then on Amazon I ordered these from baby be mine so I got the dad shirt that matches my maternity robe and then baby boy got um, a matching 
swaddle and hat to go with it. I want to say it was like 50 or 60 bucks for the whole thing. Or maybe it was a little more, 75. But I'm, I think I'm going to get Ray like a white two-piece rib set or maybe navy blue. But I thought it would be cute for whoever brings her to the hospital to meet us once we um, give birth for her to be in the picture with us when we wear this stuff. And maybe she wear white because the baby will be in solid blue and so will run. So I got to find something white for her or maybe a little white dress or something. So I got that stuff from Amazon. These are the shower favors for today. I had to hot glue some of them back on and then tie all of the twine around them, but they just say Harlem's baby shower. And today's date, it's a tea light holder and it has like the dried florals on it because that's the vibe of the shower. Um, and this is Ebony's sister's shower. I'm not sure if I told you guys that. But yeah, y'all, I'm out of breath. So I'm gonna cook the green beans. I'm, I'm gonna start prepping this stuff right now for the charcuterie board. And then I will talk to you guys later. All right, guys, so I started the meats. <clears throat> These are like salami rivers. I'm gonna take the toothpicks out once I get there. <clears throat> and then I'll like swerve them through the board and stuff. So basically I just watched some YouTube videos and all you do is take a piece of salami Fold it in half, fold it in half again. And you repeat this. And then as you put the salami together, it looks like, you know, a pretty river, basically. I'm gonna attempt some roses too. I make a lot of charcuterie boards, but I've never actually tried the meat art until now. But like I said, I just watched two YouTube videos and we gonna roll with it, so. Okay guys, so next I'm gonna do kind of like a tight rose. You can see it in these little things. I just get these from like Dollar Tree. But you can do like a tight rose. So what I did for that one is, I just took a row of meat and I kind of separated it to make it a little bigger. And you can do like, I don't know, like six pieces or so depending on how big you want it. This one will be smaller. Um, and then you wanna have like a couple extra petals to put around it. But we'll see, cause I'm making actually two boards, one big one and one small one for like the guest of honor table. So you just fold it in half like this and then you roll it tightly. And some meats are better for this than others. Um, but you get like a little rose, really cute. So this one, I'm going to use a Q-tip and stick that through just to hold it until we get there. But yeah, it's really cute. And then I'll make another one with these last six pieces. I got this Italian meat and cheese tray. All this stuff came from Audi. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make a looser rose with these meats. Okay, so I'm gonna take a cup. You can do this with a wine glass as well, but I've seen people just kind of fold it over and overlap the pieces. Let's try it out. I saw this on Instagram and TikTok and all that. So let's just see how it works. And then you're supposed to flip it over. Some people leave it in the cups, but. That's kind of pretty. Should I add another meat? Why not? Yeah. 
Yeah, that'll be pretty once you turn it over. You see that? So, I'm gonna keep it in there. Move these out of the way. This is what we have so far, you guys. And I'll put this, I uh, didn't really want the pepper meat to be. Over once we get there, that's good. And then what else do we have? I think I'm gonna do some rolls of prosciutto. What are you doing right now? I don't really eat prosciutto, um, but I think I'm just gonna do some rolls of this. Put all the triangle, big triangles together. Um, little ones as well. Hey guys, no time, long time no see. Today is November 16th, almost said October. It's November 16th. I just was able to remember to get online and re-register baby girl for gymnastics through the county. So she is all enrolled. So that's good. Starts December 1st, but her current session, the fall session doesn't end until the 29th of this month. So she has two more classes, I think. And then it'll be over. Um, but I just re-enrolled her. Hey. Um, but I wanted to show you guys. I went to the P.O. box to pick up some things. And Miss Carla sent Baby Girl a whole box of Christmas gifts, you guys. Thank you so much. Like, she looks out for us like none other. Thank you so much. We love you so much. And Ray's going to be super excited. And she even got Minnie Mouse wrapping paper, okay? That's my girl, okay? And then, also, 
Miss Erica bought all of us some stuff. So she got Ray a few things for Christmas. I'm trying not to show her because she's over there eating her breakfast. I'm going to wrap these things for her and let her open them on Christmas. But she doesn't have these already. So that's nice. She also got her this puzzle. Amazing. Future president. She got baby boy some of the Bar Bordeaux butt paste. The one with aloe in it. And also the Max Strength one, which is the one I always use. I love this stuff. I swear by it. And then she also got him some Zarbi's um, cough syrup because this stuff is like liquid gold. Um, and then she got Ronnie and I um, some gifts as well for getting remarried and having another baby and all this other stuff. But the card was so cute. Let me show you guys. Okay, so it says congrats on And you just check off all of the like accomplishments. So she said... Being awesome, your new adventure, another baby, getting married, living your best life. Those are the ones she checked off. But we got a um, Texas Roadhouse gift card and also a Starbucks gift card. You guys know. Buttons loves her mocha fraps. I mean, her, her mocha cookie crumble fraps from Starbucks. So I'll be getting that, but I'll share it with Ronnie. So, yeah, I want to show you guys that. And then Vans had a great sale not too long ago, last week sometime. And they were offering $20 off of any shoe on their website, including clearance. And then if you signed up for, like, their free um, club membership or whatever you call it, which is free, you got an additional 15% off your first purchase. But it was working on all of the purchases. Like, I made three orders in one night, and it was taking the extra 15% off on top of the total on all three orders so the one of the first orders i got was baby boy i ordered him some vans they're so cute they these are size two they didn't have size one but you guys i paid eight dollars and fifty cents for these so cute and ronnie actually liked them so these came yesterday i've ordered all my niece and nephews <laughs> vans for christmas so i'll get them um a pair of vans which hopefully should be here sometime this week and then i'll get them like a really good toy or a couple toys um i've already gotten some of them like big ticket item toys so they're good um but the ones that don't get big big ticket item toys they'll get like a couple toys and that's it just because this year i am kind of reining it in because we are doing that big disney cruise next summer and so obviously payments are due on the cruise so i wanted to show you guys that stuff before i put it up um what else did I want to show you guys? I have so much to show you guys. We are supposed to be settling on the investment property today, tonight. So Ronnie went there before work to just tie up a few loose ends that we needed to do before we signed some paperwork. I am, Reagan is having a Friendsgiving event next week, next Tuesday at school. So I'm going to put a couple of things in a bag for the um, tablescape. And I gave away a lot of my traditional fall decor, um, this like the orange, the reds, and all that stuff to my sister-in-law. So I don't have a lot, but these didn't make it in the bin. So I'm going to um, pack up these critters to take to her school. That can go on the um, centerpieces. And then I think I got a couple more things in a bin. So I'm going to take a look at that bin and show you guys that. And then also, I got these things from Belk.com, B-E-L-K. I got a black Santa. He's 18 inches tall. He's beautiful. And he was like 60 but I got him for $28. I think he's still available, so check Bilk. And then this black nutcracker I got from Michael's, and he was on sale for like 15 bucks. And I think he's maybe 16 inches or 14 inches. He's not quite 18, but yeah, so I got that. The bin that I need, this is all like Christmas stuff, so I'm going to go through this fall bin right here this green one and see what i can pull out of it for a tablescape and i'll talk to you guys in a little bit hey y'all happy thursday happy november 17th happy red cup day at starbucks you guys i just left starbucks and i thought you could get any drink so i was gonna get my mocha cookie crumble frap but obviously you got to get a holiday inspired drink to get this so she had to run down the whole list she told me i could get a regular hot chocolate a grande so i got that and then the girl who handed it to me was like no you don't get a red cup you just got regular hot chocolate i was like well she just told me to get that so what are you talking about so she asked the lady and the lady must have told her that hot chocolate was included i don't know but this is my first red cup y'all um i'm not like a big starbucks person well i am now but in past years i haven't been so yeah this is my first red cup 
and it's reusable so I like that pretty cool um, I went to the doctors this morning <clears throat> small hiccup I'm at the point now where I'm going I'm 36 weeks in one day so I'm at the point where I'm going every week now and they never confirm my appointment or put it in their system so it was in my phone but I realized I never got like a appointment reminder or a confirmation pop-up like I normally do a few days before my appointment so this morning I'm like let me call to confirm the time of my appointment because I have it in my calendar in my phone I always put it in as soon as she tells me it while I'm standing at her counter so I knew I had an appointment today at 10 30 but I was just like I wonder if they have record of this appointment because I ain't never get no automated reminders or anything like that they never put it in so she was able to still put me in today but she basically squeezed me in so I had to wait a long time for one of the doctors to see me so it took forever it took an hour and a half for my appointment also I did get another sonogram baby boy was not cooperating today he did not want to turn over and give me a proper picture so I just have pictures of like side profiles and feet and stuff like that because he did not want to turn over and show his face this morning um so yeah, what else was happening? Um, it looks like I'm going to get a sonogram all the way up until delivery now because every week they're saying I'm getting a sonogram. So hold on, it's my mom. Okay guys, sorry about that. That was my mom calling in. But I'm back at the house now. I'm eating my Taco Bell. <clears throat> I showed you guys that I did get my break cup. <coughs> I stopped at Taco Bell just because I was starving. My appointment ran over. Um, because they had to squeeze me in so my appointment's at 10 30 i didn't leave until 12 um so yeah what else baby boy is officially six pounds 11 ounces um so <clears throat> they are going to take him on december 8th um that's a week before his original due date which was the 15th um so because he's you know going to be born one week earlier than the 40 weeks he probably won't reach raise weight which was eight pounds six ounces but they said if he went that extra week he probably would be right on the nose where she was because he's already six pounds 11 ounces so that's good they gave him like a baby score i don't know the technical term for it but they gave him like a baby score of eight out of eight so everything was fine they said the amniotic fluid was fine all his um, extremities, everything like that. His weight, his head, his heartbeat, all that stuff. Today, his heartbeat was 146 beats per minute. So she said that was good. Um, they said everything was cool. They told me to keep taking my iron. Um, they did a swab today for like a strep B something. And they said if I'm positive, they give you antibiotics during birth. But I was negative with Ray, so they don't think I'm a carrier. But they just test everyone. So I did that today. It seems as though I'm going to get an uh, ultrasound. That's what I was telling you guys every week now because I got one today. I go back next week and they schedule me for another one. So I guess because I'm over 35, I'm 36, um, they want to see like growth every week. I don't know. Um, but as of today, I'm 36 weeks and one day. And he's 6 pounds, 11 ounces. He's a big one. Um, she was like, oh, look at the little chunky. Um, so, yeah. What else? Ray, um, Ronnie uh, gave her a bath and washed her hair this morning. Because I'm going to take her back to my cousin tonight. Once I pick her up from school. So she can get her hair braided again. Because, y'all, I'm at that stage where I'm okay. We're outsourcing at this point. I don't, even though I cut down my nails, I probably could braid her hair. But I ain't got the energy and I don't want to do it. So, Plus my cousin braids a bit better than me. Her braids are like a lot tighter than mine. So they last longer. Because Ray got this done the day before the baby shower. And we just took it out. And it looked good the whole time. So I don't mind paying for convenience, you know. So update on the townhouse we signed our settlement paperwork last night at the house at this house at our house so we're good to go but we still have the keys and ronnie took the lockbox off so our realtor is going to come by today to get the keys and i think the buyers are signing today at 4 p.m so they want to do a final walkthrough before that um and then that's it for the investment property guys like we're done 
with that um so that video will be coming soon of the before and after i know you guys have been waiting on it i have the foot i have the footage but i just haven't edited it yet um what else baby boy's room there's a few more things coming today his light is coming today with the ceiling light um, a couple things came earlier this week that I still need to put in there. A rug came this week. Um, the crib mobile came. The crib sheet came. Still no dresser yet. That's supposed to come at the end of the month. Um, what else? Um, some of his hospital stuff came. Like his custom stuff has come. I'm still waiting on his um, <clears throat> coming home outfit that's supposed to come. In like the next couple of weeks i ordered that from etsy um my hospital bag i finished all my laundry and folded it up so i'm gonna pack my hospital bag probably tonight when i get back home from letting ray get her hair done um and then i'll just have to work on like a diaper bag for him which should be super easy because i don't need a lot of stuff um what else thanksgiving is going to be at my house this year because I'm too pregnant to be keep traveling to people's houses. So everybody's coming here for dinner. Christmas, the same thing. But I'm not going to do the whole weekend thing for Christmas where everybody comes and spends the whole weekend because we are out of beds because Ronnie's family is still staying with us. So they'll just be coming for dinner. For Thanksgiving, <coughs> Ronnie and I are responsible for frying the turkey which we do all the time i have that electric fryer that he sets up either in the house or the garage um so that's fine i still have to get the turkey and the oil for that i got the injector seasoning i'm gonna make um some devil eggs i decided to add on green beans because i made some for the baby shower not my baby shower but for um ebony sister's baby shower last weekend and everyone loved them so i want to make another batch of those so i got the green beans um, and then I'm going to make some cornbread. Ronnie really likes this cornbread from Costco. So I got that yesterday. So I'm going to make um, a couple of those. And then that's my contribution. Um, I won't be doing it all at the same time. Y'all know. I'll probably put the green beans on early in the morning. Work on the eggs kind of early in the morning. But then he doesn't fry the turkey until like, I don't know, like an hour before dinner. So that's fine. We're going to shoot for everybody getting there with their dishes at four o'clock which means well my family probably won't be eating until six but that's what we're you know doing but so we split up the menu with everybody so that's the things that i am responsible for or me and ronnie are responsible for so it should be okay um yeah um am i getting nervous and anxious about delivery yes but at least this time I know what I'm walking into because I opted for a C-section. I know I'm walking into that. There shouldn't be any like surprises where I hopefully go into labor or anything. I was telling Ronnie, I hope I make it to the 8th. But anyway, if I do, I know my appointment is 8 a.m. I mean, on the 8th at 7.30 a.m. So I can plan to have everything in order before that time whereas before with reagan i was you know going to give vaginal birth and you know went into labor on my own got to nine centimeters had to have an emergency c-section so i was recovering from basically both types of birth this time i'll only have to recover from the c-section which i'm not trying to minimize you guys because that was a doozy on me honestly um I'm, i don't bounce back like these young girls like that was a doozy on me but i'm thinking that in my mind i just didn't want to I didn't want to risk it. They couldn't induce me because my uterus has already been cut. So if I would have got to my due date, which was the 15th, and still not went into labor, I would still have to have a C-section because they couldn't induce me. And they don't want you going that far over your due date either. So rather than run the risk of being pregnant for a couple extra weeks past 40, I and still having to have a c-section I just opted for a c-section and their policy is they take them a week early when it's a scheduled c-section so it is what it is um I've made peace with it 
I'm praying about it. I think he'll be fine. He's perfectly healthy. I'm okay, so I'm hoping everything will be okay. I'm excited that I get visitors this time because with Ray, we couldn't have any visitors the entire time. Like, our families didn't meet her until the day we brought her home. So, I'm excited that Ray gets to come and meet baby brother because she is really excited. Like, she kisses my stomach all the time. She wants to go into his nursery all the time and mess around with stuff. So, <coughs> I'm eager to see her reaction when she actually sees him. Um... So, like I said, I'm going to focus on my hospital bag probably tonight. I got to get Ronnie to <clears throat> pack one as well. But he's more worried about me packing one, of course, right now. Because I keep telling him, like, Whew, I don't know if I'm going to make it. <laughs> I'm out of breath all the time. It's just a lot. Uh, so, yeah. That's where we are. Um... What else? I'm working on editing the baby shower vlog. By the time you see this, it'll already be live. So go watch it if you haven't. But I've already done the thumbnail and edited a lot of the footage. I just have to edit the, the still photos I put in there as well. And add some overlay music because obviously we had a DJ. So I don't want a copyright claim. Um, But that's almost done. Um, what else? I think that's it. I think once we get past Thanksgiving, it's fair game. I was telling my coworker, like, I'm training a coworker to take over some of my responsibilities while I'm out. And I was telling her, like, honestly, if I'm not in I'm too pregnant to care mode, I'm in holiday mode, which is just as bad. Like, I just don't have any motivation. I'm tired. And then it doesn't help that I'm carrying around extra weight on me. And so every task I complete, I have to have a 30 minute break in between because I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. I'm not getting quality sleep at this point. Um, I am suffering from acid reflux. And I had that towards the end with Ray. And my mom thinks it's because I eat and then I'll just like lay in the bed, which is probably true. I'm laying in the bed practically right after I eat um, because what else can I do? Um, but the acid reflux is pretty bad. And so I have to keep my head elevated, which isn't comfortable. And I can't get comfortable position wise either. So my sleep is broken. Most nights I'm up ordering stuff on my phone until wee hours in the morning. Or I may get a couple hours of sleep and then I'm up because I change position and he starts spazzing out and moving. So that's kind of been annoying. Um, but I just remember this from Ray. It's just par for the course at the end. So, it is what it is. Um, so, as you guys know, I'm 36. I have Reagan, who is two and a half, and I'll be having baby boy. So, I'm done, right? Ronnie says he's done. At first, he said he was done. We both said we were done. And then he was like, well, what if we're not, blah, blah, blah. But that was when we went out for my birthday, and he was like, having a few cocktails so when I came back to him and was like what was that about he was like oh those must have been the cocktails talking because I'm done like <laughs> we're both 36 we got a boy and a girl we're good so I talked to my doctor about getting my tubes time but unfortunately I'm delivering at a catholic hospital they refuses to do it so he was telling me in order for me to get it done I would have to leave their practice go somewhere else to have it done and come back to their practice because they are not allowed to do it, which I don't really understand because they're allowed to prescribe contraceptives. So I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, I can't get it done while I'm getting a C-section, which was my plan or my hope. So there's that. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. We'll figure it out, but they won't do it. Anyway, um... Oh, I have some orders coming in today as well. I'll show you guys when they come in. But one of them is coming in tomorrow. And it's like a six and a half foot 
um, blow up turkey for the front yard because Ray loves the inflatables for the front yard for Halloween time, Christmas time. She loves them. So I'm an extra mom. So I got to, you know. So at Walmart, this one was 50% off. It was only $20 that I spent and it's six and a half feet tall. It's a huge turkey and it lights up at night. So I ordered it. Ronnie's going to be like, what the hell? Um, so I ordered it. It'll be here tomorrow and we'll set it up. And I, I know she's going to be so excited because she was so excited about the Halloween um, inflatables, which I have more of for next year because I got them on clearance after Halloween. So I'm excited about that. see her face and then the last bit of stuff that is coming in is like the kids shoes that I ordered them for Christmas like my nieces and nephew and Ray as well and then um, I did order like a couple toy items a couple more toy items for Ray um, and my nieces and nephews I still have two nieces to buy for and then I gotta get my nephew something else um, but I did start my Christmas shopping and hopefully I'll be done soon because older kids we're just gonna give them money um, so yeah we'll see but I was talking to my friend Brittany and Ebony excuse me and I was like is it just me or is this year like kind of crept up on us I don't really feel like doing any holiday shopping like of course I got my baby toys and stuff but I just ordered and had it delivered to the house. I didn't go out and pick out hardly anything. I got her one gift yesterday when I went to Costco because I had seen it <clears throat> two weeks ago. And it's like a Barbie um, carriage with the horse and it comes with some Barbie dolls. So I got her that yesterday. But that's the only in-store item I purchased for her. Ronnie bought her a My Size Disney Princess Tiana doll while we were in Target. I had already gotten her a My Size Barbie doll from Walmart. Um, so she's going to get both of those. Um, but everything I ordered, I, I mean, everything I got her, I ordered online. It was like kind of like random. I don't know. But Nana did the same thing. She, she said she doesn't go into stores and shop and stuff like that either. But usually I like to, you know, I like to do that type of stuff. But I don't know. This year I did order some wrapping paper because I haven't started wrapping. I was supposed to do store pickup today, but they let me know that it was out of stock. So, of course, they're going to ship it for free. So, it'll be here sometime next week, which is fine because I ain't going to be wrapping nothing before next week. I was supposed to be doing the Christmas trees in my house. The 12-foot one in the family room. Ray's tree is already up in her room. And then the tree in our room is up, but I haven't decorated yet because I haven't gotten Ronnie to get the stuff down out of the ceiling of the garage he has to climb up on the ladder it's not safe for me to get up there or y'all no buttons would have been up on that ladder getting her stuff down so i'm trying to be patient but i've asked him for almost two weeks now to get down the christmas stuff and i think he's purposely making me wait until after thanksgiving because he thinks it's ridiculous that we're putting up trees this early but there was a method through my, to my madness because i'm getting tired so i wanted to get them up early fluff them which i did fluff the one in our room so that one's ready to be decorated i just need my ornaments and stuff to be brought down so hopefully by this weekend he'll do that i have a jam-packed weekend and i don't understand how this keeps happening when i keep telling you guys i'm done i'm tired um saturday we're going to go see the uh wakanda movie with ronnie's sister's church i think that they rented out the theater and i think we only paid like three dollars for the tickets so that's from noon to like 3 30 and then my brother's birthday is actually this coming Monday he'll be 35 he's a year younger than me and so his wife my sister-in-law Tia his favorite restaurant is Fogo de Jon which is a Brazilian chucharista whatever you call it where they bring all the meats around to the table his favorite restaurant is that restaurant so she um booked like a private dinner for the family and it's already been prepaid for and everything like that so that's going to be on Saturday at 4 30 in Tyson's Virginia so we'll be going to the movie and then shooting from the movie to his birthday dinner and then on Sunday Ray is supposed to finally start her swim lessons her swim school is supposed to finally be opening after like a six-week delay and that's in the morning time then in the evening time I'm supposed to be going to a mom's giving dinner with Brittany and Ebony and I think we're going to get a hotel and stay overnight because it's kind of far out 
um and then we'll be back monday sometime during the day so that is my weekend i'm tired already thinking about it we'll see what gets done what doesn't but you guys that's where we are that's where we are um so yeah i'm about to go in the house though because i gotta log back into work and do some stuff um so yeah that's what's going on i just wanted to give you guys an update on buttons the last thing i need to order for the nursery i wanted to go to hobby lobby today which i may still do i don't know but um i need to order his name sign to go on the wall which i think i want to put over top of the dresser when it comes i need to get some more wall decor for that wall over the dresser where his name sign will go which i think i want to get it i see some stuff on amazon but i want to look in hobby lobby and they just opened one by me i haven't went yet and then i want to get him some bookshelves i wanted to get a cube organizer but i can't find one that doesn't clash with the wood tones already in the room so i don't know that i'm going to use that um i also need to get a side table for the um rocker and then an ottoman which i have two in my amazon cart right now that i'm contemplating getting so we'll see but i'm going to let him put up the light first i'm going to put up the mobile and then we're going to put like the stars and the moon on the ceiling because ronnie really wanted to do that so i ordered those things from amazon and they have come in so over this weekend we'll do that ronnie also made some progress last weekend in the theater room um i didn't record it but i am going to record going forward i think um <clears throat> the progress that he's making before we hire the um, flooring company to come put in the carpet and before we hire an electrician to come do the recess lights and the wall sconce lights and that'll be it so he's working on closing off the um the riser on the floor he put the the top on it him and his dad did that last weekend i think he needs to get a little bit more of that board to close off the last part of the top and then he has to finish some of the trim work um on the walls where the wall sconces lights will go so yeah my brother also was doing a lot of custom work in his theater room and it looks really really good so last i heard he was painting it but all his trim work to look really really good um we also need to put up crown molding and baseboards as well so there's that um but yeah that's what's going on you guys it's been 21 minutes i've been talking to you guys for 21 minutes but i just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with buttons because we're nearing the end guys it's pretty soon you'll be staring at baby boy so yeah um i've been thinking about his name like telling you guys i don't know i, I think i'm gonna wait until i i don't know i'm gonna just wait anyway i'll talk to you guys later you guys have a happy thursday um i know i'll talk to you guys before thanksgiving i gotta clean off my my dining room table as well because it's become a drop zone again um but oh ray is having a friends giving lunch at school next tuesday which is the last day the daycare is open before thanksgiving they're closed wednesday thursday and friday of next week so I dropped off some of the stuff. You guys know I'm class mom. So I dropped off some of the stuff. Most of my traditional um, fall decor I gave to my brother and sister-in-law because I do like the blues, the silvers, the whites, stuff like that in this house now. But I found a bin where I did keep the stuff that I used to decorate my front porch with, which is in the traditional colors. So I used a lot of that stuff. And I also found some like critters and stuff that I had purchased from tj maxx had just never made it in the bins that i gave to my brother and sister-in-law so i bagged all that stuff up and took it over to daycare yesterday um and she's gonna like set their table and everything um over the weekend um i sent like some chargers some stimulus wine glasses that they can use for what is this <clears throat> um sorry some stimulus wine glasses that they can use for um their cider I also donated the disposable tableware, um, which is like the plates, the the cups, the uh, cutlery, and then I donated the greens, 
um because they're having like a whole thanksgiving spread so i donated the greens the meat for seasoning the greens and then i donated the sparkling cider for them and parents like signed up to donate other things um so i'm good on that i am gonna have to go back and get my at least my tablecloth from daycare that evening because i need to wash it so that i can put it on my dining room table because i think that's where i want to put all the food and i have two of them i'm rambling you guys but i have two of the burgundy tablecloths that i want to use but my dining table is very huge so i have to use them both and kind of overlap them in order for it to cover the whole table so that's why i'm gonna have to go and get my tablecloth at, from daycare after um their event is over also, um, I went yesterday to Costco to see if I can find the disposable Thanksgiving table um, tableware set that they had. I think it was like $23 or something. I saw it a couple weeks ago. I should have grabbed it. I didn't. And they were sold out of it yesterday. So I ended up having to go to High Ass Party City. Yeah, I spent like 60 bucks on disposable tableware for Thanksgiving. I was not happy about that. But anyway, it's nice. It's going to look nice, especially up against the burgundy tablecloth. It'll look good. But, um, yeah, so I have that. And then, what else? I already told you what I have to provide for Thanksgiving. So, yeah, we're good to go. But let me go in here and get some work done. I will talk to you guys a little later. Deuces.